This exercise is called brain spotting. Brain spotting can be really effective when you're wanting to neutralize any disturbing images that your brain has accidentally clicked save on. Now remember, the brain is, its job is to keep you safe. And so it tends to have more memory for things that are fear-based learning rather than joyful images. Um, because again, your brain's responsibility is to keep you safe. And so it's more important to remember the things that are scary than to remember the things that are joyful. And so what this exercise does is it really helps put the brain on manual mode. And so when the brain has clicked save on something that is fear-based, it tends to get stuck in the right brain and it can feel like it's stuck in a traffic circle. And it can also pop up at inopportune times. And so in today's day and age when we can be bombarded by images in social media or the news or even our own experience, um, we don't want to see those things after we've seen them. And so this, is, this can be something that can be really effective to just help neutralize and get the brain to process it and file it away so it no longer has to disturb you when you're not wanting to be disturbed. And so think about what you might want to neutralize. And then on a scale from zero to 10, if it has an intensity level above a five, I recommend that you only do this exercise in the presence of a trained uh, mental health care practitioner. So if you can think of something that has an intensity level between a zero and a five, then you're ready to go. Okay, and so now with brain spotting, you can do this with one image or you can do it with a whole collage of images. So think about if you have just one image that's been stuck in your mind, kind of on the loop, or if it's a collection of images that feel all combined in, in the same event. And again, you could do it the same, the same exercise in the same way. So I want you to imagine as if you can hold that image in front of you. And you may even want to use your hands as a guide. So imagine that image is in front of you, or the collage of images. And now I want you to find in your mind's eye, find the switch that changes it from color to black and white. And I want you to flip that switch to black and white. So now that image or the collage of images is black and white. Has it turned black and white? Good. Now find the dial that's the focus dial. And I want you to make all of the images or this one image out of, out of focus. I want you to make it all blurry. So in your mind's eye, find that focus dial and make the images blurry. So they're black and white and blurry. Do that now. Good. Are they black and white and blurry? Good. Okay, so now you've got either one image or the collage of images that's black and white and blurry. Now we're going to move it around in your visual field. So you're going to move it to the lower left. And you're going to keep your head still while you're doing this, only moving your eyes. Move it to the lower right. Move it to the upper left. Move it to the upper right. Are the images moving? Good. Move it all the way to the left, all the way to the right. And now I want you to shrink it by 50%. So it's half the size that it was when it started. Good. Now you're ready to keep moving it. Lower left, upper right, upper left, lower right, all the way to the left all the way to the right and do that again all the way to the left all the way to the right shrink it again by 50 percent we're going to do that one more time move it all the way down to the lower left quadrant lower right lower right upper left upper right all the way to the left all the way to the right and now put it all the way down on the floor so you're looking down on it and now imagine it's on a conveyor belt and allow it to go farther and farther and farther away until it's just a point point. and now erase the point take a breath in exhale 
And now, bring up a, an image that easily brings a smile to your face and make that nice color in focus, a nice, beautiful, vivid image, again, of something that's easy to feel love for, easy to smile. And then just tap here and click Save. Imagine clicking Save. That's it. Good. And that's brain spotting. And so some of the cool science that's behind brain spotting is that when you do this exercise during a fMRI scan, if we could see your brain in real time while doing this exercise, you can literally see the activity of the brain switching from the left hemisphere to the right hemisphere. And so again, what this does is it intentionally moves the image from the left and right hemispheres of the brain, which helps the brain file it away, and so it no longer has to disturb you. Enjoy. <laughs>